Monster a &R Music Reviews with Dame Taylor featuring Play-Doh Beats, take one. What's good y'all? This is Dame Taylor from Monster a &R, back with another music review. I know it's been a minute, but we've been working behind the scenes just leveling up, man. If y'all wanna stay tuned to what we're doing, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can stay up to date for all the new videos that we're gonna be uploading. And make sure y'all get into the comments, like and share these videos so that we can go up. I want y'all to go up with us. So we're gonna jump straight into this music review. We got a new Monster a &R member. His name is Plato Beats. He's an experienced producer. He's been doing it for a long time. He represents South Central Los Angeles, but he's currently living in NorCal in a small city called Manteca, California. If you're watching this video and listening to this music, you are the A&R, so y'all know how it go. Make sure y'all turn y'all A&R ears on. Let me know what y'all think about this music in the comments. If you are A&R working for a record label, would you submit this music to any current artist right now? Why or why not? What do y'all think about his music? What do y'all think needs to be improved? Like that is what Monster a and is for. We are a music management and talent development platform that allows music artists, songwriters, and producers to get better and reach their professional goals. So we send them through a series of assignments, challenges to help them to get better. So y'all can be a part of their development by sharing y'all thoughts and opinions in the comments, all right? When you submit your music to the universe, you don't control or dictate what gets played. The a and is gonna play whatever gets played. So as a creative, all your music should represent you in the best light. You shouldn't hope for someone to listen for a certain type of music. You know what I'm saying? So anything you submit should be a go, period. So anyway, I'm done talking. I'm going to play this first beat. Y'all let me know what y'all think. come across a beat that I could easily criticize I could easily give an a and r opinion that but that certain beat just shouldn't be criticized first off I thought this beat was creative I thought it had a bunch of different surprises and ranges and I can tell that he put some effort into this beat regardless of what I personally think about it I just want to give credit to the creativity of the track first you know what I'm saying? The one thing about a and rs being a producer in this industry, being in almost every record label playing beats for some of the corniest a and rs and some of the dopest, most experienced a and rs they all gonna tell you what they think you should have done. You know what I'm saying? And But at the end of the day, it's really just an opinion. So one thing I've learned is that like, there's a time and place for my opinion. And to be honest, the only opinion I have is with, this was a pretty creative beat. I'm gonna listen to it again and see if I can try to pull out some type of constructive feedback, but I really don't feel like this beat needs any. The mix is clean, the drums hit, he got some clean melodies, there's not a lot of muddiness in his melodies. question is this what are Plato's goals where would he submit this beat 
and as an A&R, someone in the industry, who could I submit this beat to? Currently, I can't think of anybody who I would send this beat to. Like, there's no current person like the Billboard 50 or Billboard 100 that I would just be like, yo, let me press this button to send this over to them. So does this beat have current industry relevance? I can't say that it does. But is the beat, it's a cold beat. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know y'all opinion. Like, where would y'all send this beat? Who do y'all think can be on this beat? Who do y'all hear on this beat? Right now, I don't currently hear anybody on this beat. But there's a lot of great opportunities for this beat. And I tell y'all all the time, anything can go. There's a right place for every single type of music. structure on point if y'all watch my other music reviews there's a certain science to proper song structure and just keeping a person in, in anticipation and pleasing them when you just know how to elevate songs bring them and put them in certain pockets and his song structure so far is dope mix crazy about relevance who would i submit this beat to that's that's the number one question the drums hit he got clean sounds he got proper song structure he know what he doing but who do we push this button to submit the beats to that's the only question i got Now, y'all know me, right? I tell y'all this all the time. I can listen to a beat before I know what a person look like, before I know what DAW they use. I can tell you a lot about a producer just by listening to like the first 15 seconds of their beats. I don't know. I can't determine his full story from his music, to be honest. So that's a, that's a good compliment to him. His music just sounds well put together. Like you can tell he understands how to produce music. And I respect that about him. But, and because of that, I low key just want to glimpse through some more beats. I was just going to play three beats, but I'm going to glimpse through some more because the way he presents his music, his my his first impression of his music without me, you know, if I didn't know anything about him, I want to give him a chance as an AR. I'm going to listen because I want to find something in here that I can send somewhere. So let's go through some more beats and see if we can find that. If not, then we're going to have to dock him for industry current relevance. create what he creates and the direction I'm going to give him I'm kind of scared to see where he's going to be in a few months that's all I'm going to say I'm kind of scared to see where he's going to be in a few months in a good way because like I said with his ability to do what he did before I even met him 
and what I'm going to help him to do. But we'll see. We'll see how coachable he is, how movable he is. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that play, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I still ain't found nothing that I can uh, push somewhere. So I'm going to go through a couple more. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Get into the comments right now and let me know what y'all thoughts are. As an A&R. As an A&R. and our members know this because I preach it all the time, right? Like, the dope thing about being a creative is that, like, you wake up, you got ideas, and you use your doll to illustrate those ideas, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if y'all anything like me, you think of something, and then you sit in front of your equipment, and you try to recreate what you're thinking, or you just let, like, like, the feeling and the vibes just take you to create something, right? You can tell that Plato creates music just off of vibes. He has his own ideas and his thoughts, and he creates them, which is dope. But if any of y'all have goals to place music with the top artists or to do music for a living, you got to understand the art, and you got to have the ability to reference. So you got to be able to tap into what's current. You got to tap into to create that. So I respect Plato because you can tell that he has his own mind and he creates his own mind. He's probably one of those dudes that's like, I don't listen to the radio. I just do my own thing. You can tell that. You can tell that. But if you guys' goals are to be in the industry or work in the industry, you got to be able to have the ability to tap into what other artists need. You know what I'm saying? Your job as a producer is you are a serviceman to artists. You are a serviceman to the music industry, right? You provide music to place in other areas for other people to use. So if your job, if your goal is to work in that world with other people, you have to tap into what other people want and what other people like and what other people are listening to. And hopefully you get to a point to where you pop into where people come and want your sound, kind of like a Ryan Leslie. You got a lot of people who reinvent sound like they so weird and left field and they find a way to make it pop and then the world comes to them. But before you get there, you got to be able to go to the world. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I that's the only feedback I got for him is his relevance. Is his sound relevant to what industry is now? I know he's been waiting a long time for this music review, so I'm glad that I was able to give you that feedback, man. Uh, welcome to the community. You know, I look forward to working with you and helping direct you toward your goals. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get into the comments as well. Let me know what you thought about the feedback, what you thought about the music review. And I'm pretty much done. You know what I'm saying? I could listen to another one, but I listened to four already, and I feel like I gave him four chances to... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, see if I can press that button to send it. I really enjoyed the review. If you guys want a music review, you got to join the squad. You got to join Monster a &R. If you're interested in Monster a &R or not sure exactly what it is and want more information, go to monstersessions.com and enter your information in the request information section on the front page of the website. And we're going to have one of our a &Rs reach out to you just to learn more about you. We are real people. We're going to really call you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to really call you and we're going to really talk to you to learn about who you are. That's what we, we're a real community, man. So shout out to the current Monster NR members all over the world. We look forward to growing this community over 2021 and, and beyond. You know what I'm saying? I'm out for the day. Thank y'all for showing love. I'll see y'all in the next music review. Peace. Ten, 10 plus years, dude. I know, for real, right? <laughs> How many years was it? It's been, it's been over 10 so years. Y'all don't do the fist bump out there, huh? No. <laughs>